Well, a New York City towing company is accused of deceiving drivers. Uh, allegations include overcharging and holding vehicles hostage. It's all detailed in a new class action lawsuit that claims there are thousands of victims. CBS News' Lisa Rosner has the exclusive story. It happens every day. A car breaks down or is impounded due to insurance or registration problems. For one driver who will call Mike, it was the latter. The NYPD called runway towing. He says he resolved the issue within hours, but he couldn't get his car for days. I've seen people in the office and in the yard. On the, I called them on the phone. They said that we're closed. But legally, tow companies are required to release vehicles 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Attorney Gary Rosen is filing the lawsuit. When you get towed on a highway, there's a specific tow bill that you're supposed to be given. A former driver who left the company after a dispute asked us to conceal his identity. He showed us the legal receipt. It has the legal rate for a tow, which is $125 for the first 10 miles and a consumer bill of rights. But, he says, employees often hand out a different receipt. The rate is allegedly what the supervisor determines. Regular pricing, $150. Um, but like if you're driving a Mercedes-Benz, a BMW, whatever, of that sort, you know, it was 225 or better. The Brooklyn Queens Expressway is one of several highways where runway towing has the exclusive contract with the NYPD. The lawsuit claims that that is why the company was able to get away with overcharging. That's why Rosen says a lawsuit is planned against the NYPD and the NYC Department of Consumer Affairs, who he says look the other way when customers complained. Consumer Affairs says it couldn't comment, and the NYPD said it is looking into it. The attorney for runway towing says the company denies the allegations. And that all the allegations are deficient in a number of ways. The allegations don't, don't identify by, by name, the name of the consumer. They don't identify the plate number. And I think this is an attempt by somebody to smear runway with uh, false allegations. He says runway plans to fight the lawsuit while consumers fight to get their money back. In South Ozone Park, Queens, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.